Hey everyone, last year one of my most popular projects was GPT-4 Autocoder. Here I have a streamlit interface for it. You enter your key and then you can enter an idea or paste your existing key, select iteration numbers, and it just generates code and improves it, tries to improve it anyway. Here in this case, it generated a book uh, recommendation. You can run it again. So it's gonna, if you leave this empty, it's gonna create a new uh, idea and then code it. So this time around, it created some kind of machine learning model and now it's working on uh, an improvement to it and here is the improved code as you can see it's longer so i'll put the link to this in the description but we're going to try to build something like this from scratch uh, i don't know if we'll get to the uh, streamlit interface but uh, let's get going i think one of the most important uh, skills that we're going to need in 2024 is to use ai assistance Therefore, I'm going to use Cursor. It has become my favorite IDE, but everything that I'm doing in Cursor, you can do with ChatGPT by copying and pasting. It's more or less the same thing, but Cursor makes it uh, much more simpler and also has some convenient features for referring to files. You can also ask code-based questions. Anyway, I'm just going to grab some uh, streaming call to GPT real quick from my Everything GPT API course. You can find this at my Patreon. I'll put the link in the description. So here we are, we have the simple call. I'm going to go back and actually grab the JSON mode parameter because I think we should use that. Come back here and copy paste it here. And I'm going to refer to this file or I can actually select and add it to chat. You could have just copied and pasted the chat GPT. So I asked it to convert it to a function which takes in user input. I asked it to keep the JSON mode and streaming responses as is. Let's see. Okay, it gave us a code. It looks pretty good. Let's just run this real quick. Let's just run this to see if it works. I just created a, a while loop here. Okay, I'm running with a while loop. I'm just going to say hi, just to see uh, that it is working. Okay, I got an error uh, at first because when you're using JSON mode, you do have to mention it to return a JSON object anyway. So now if I say hi, it is returning a JSON object. So it's looking good. We are printing it twice because we are printing it while in the while streaming and also right here. Okay, I'm modifying the system message. I say you're a helpful coding assistant. Create a full Python script for what the user is asking for. Only respond with a JSON object and your response should look like this. A step-by-step -step plan, which is going to be a string and code, which is going to be a string. So we're going to return this responses and we're going to say code equals. I believe we need to import JSON here and load it, which I believe json.load. And now let's say, save the code to a file, code.py. Okay, that should work. I also changed the name of the function to generate initial code. So if you run this again, let's see if it works. It should generate, so if you, have, so at this point we can ask something. Let's do the same thing, a book recommender. And now, yeah, we should see the step-by-step -step plan. And then the code is being written and we got the code written here. Okay. The code uh, is not a good name for the file. Let's, let's just say code response because it clashes. Let's run this again. Also, I should change the model, change it to GPT for a uh, review. Let's run this again with a book recommender. So now we should get some better code written as code underscore response.py. The code files for this will be available at Patreon. Let's try to build it as much as we can. But uh, at the end of the video, I'll uh, put it in Patreon. You can download it here. I'll put the link in the description. So here we go. We got a code response. So this one should work. So we know that it's generating some code. So let's work on it a little more. Also, if you get some time, check out my new uh, app, AutoStreamer, at autostreamer.live. It generates educational content in real time, which you can record or live stream. And at the end of the uh, stream, you have a full course website built. For example, this one was generated entirely with uh, uh, AutoStreamer. Opening and closing files. Uh, this is a Python course. I'll actually put the link to both in the description if you would like to check it out. So we need another function. So this one's going to generate our original code. And the next one is going to generate improvement code. Let's say generate, I call it generate improvements. It's still going to take in some user input. I'm just going to change the system message. 
Okay, so I actually changed the input of the to this function. It's going to be previous code and said you're a helpful coding assistant. You'll be given a Python script. Your task is to improve it by adding new and useful features, adding error catching, fixing any bugs. Your end response is going to look exactly like this. We're going to do the exact same streaming responses. Okay, so I just copied this to a cursor. Like I said, you could have done it to ChatGPT as well. And I said, convert this to object-oriented programming. We'll take in user input. User will also specify iterations for number of improvements. Then we'll generate initial code, write it to file, iterate with the improvements function for n many times, and save each iteration to file as well as appropriately numbered. So it's currently writing the code. Okay, we are almost done. Let's grab this and paste it here. Maybe I should have. So back, back this one up, but so we have an autocoder class. We initialize the API key, either from an environment variable or hard coded here. We have a generate initial code, and then we have the generate improvements method, save code to file with an iteration number. We have a run, which, a run method, which is going to take in user input, iteration input. Okay, and this should do, do it, I believe. Let's run it. Looks good to me. Let's say again, a book recommender, number of improvements, let's say three. So it started, this is our initial step. While this is doing, let's do some improvements here ourselves. For example, here we can print when we are starting the improvement. We can actually print generating initial code. I'm also using Copilot initial code. And then here we can write print. Uh, generating improvement for that iteration. Okay, we have an error. Okay, when cursor was writing it, it uh, didn't respond only with a JSON object. So it neglected that. That's so it. This is one of the, uh, you know, uh, it's very good with code, right? GPT, but sometimes with system messages, it uh, looks them over. Okay, anyway, we didn't have the JSON mentioned in the system message, which you're supposed to, as you can see, the message must contain the word JSON. I'm going to ask again uh, a book recommender, number of improvements three. So this time we, we are printing generating initial code. We can actually make this print colorfully from term color, import colored. I'll also create a requirements that txt. Now uh, we're going to need, I think, open AI and term color. I'm just not going to specify uh, versions yet. We'll, we'll take a look at it from pip. Okay, so our first, so we can delete this code response because our original code is saved as zero. So this is the first code uh, script that we got, and it's working on an improvement now. It says ensure function is robust, introduce error handling, allow the user to receive recommendations for multiple genres, optimize. Okay, it's working on it. Let's just see what happens. Okay, we got the next code. This does introduce some improvements, although it says, Oh, yeah, it used it made a simple mistake. Let's see if it'll fix it in its next iteration. The problem here is I uh, see it used the if, if string started with a single quote and it's using a single quote. If you were to change this to double quotes, it should fix it. But we can select both files and right click on it and compare selected. And as you can see, you can see the differences, and the second file is much longer. Here we go. Actually, we did fix that. So this, the third one so far has no errors, but we said three iterations of improvement, so we should get one more. As you can see from the uh, minimap, we are getting more lines of code. Okay, we got our final improvement, improved version. It does want to open a book.json, which we don't have. Uh, okay, so if you don't have a book.json, book it's going to load this entries. It didn't have the other entries, but we can fill it up. And it's going to ask for a genre and choice. So yeah, but the main point is other coder. Now it's going to take in a user idea and it's going to try to improve upon it. So this is pretty cool. Let me know what you think. Maybe in the next video, we'll work on the streamlit version or something like that. Like I said, these files will be available at Patreon. Link will be in the description. Also, don't forget to check out the auto streamer as well. Let me know how you like these videos. I'd like to make more of these where uh, we are doing some live coding and improvements in real time so you can see how every, how uh, I am approaching coding and hopefully this will be useful for you as well if you're enjoying my content you can visit my website at echohive.live 
and see my other projects. There's a nice quick little uh, search functionality too. It's echohive.live, link will be in the description. And also if you're a patron, you can find the code download links here. And this is the project, everything GPT API course I was talking about, which comes with, let's see, you know, quick little project files about everything that is OpenAI related with a video file associated that explains it. And it has some complex projects too with GPT vision and image generation with Dolly 3. All right, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.